Welcome back to Kristen's Creative Kids. Today we are going to open some more of the eggs and I pray that God's word will speak to you as we open each egg in a bright and colorful way. Speaking of bright and colorful, we need to find the purple egg. Hmm, it's hiding here. Can you find it? It's very near. Good for you, John. Now open it up. What's inside? It's a cup. Ooh, a tiny cup. It's to help us remember the story of the Passover meal. A table was set with the cup and bread, a special bread that we might learn how to make later this week for the Passover meal where the 12 disciples would be fed. Jesus drank from the cup and he shared the bread with them. And he said, remember me. That's why we take communion at church sometimes, right? Yeah, we right? do it at church. We have grape juice and we have some bread. The right. bread stands for Jesus' body and the juice stands for Jesus' blood. We wow. had little cups like this. <laughs> yeah. We did, little tiny cups at church. And we take it to what? Remember? Jesus. Jesus. Jesus and what he did for the us. The grape juice is his blood. Right. We, yes, it stands for his blood. Remember me is what he said. So don't forget what Jesus did for you every Easter, right? Now, we're going to look in the orange egg. Hmm, Sophia, can you help us find the orange egg? Yeah. You will find something we use all the time. Let's see. What do you think it's something we use all the time? Praying hands. Oh, it's hands held together in this special way. Yes. Yes, and it shows us that it's time to pray. Can you hold your hands up like that? Yes, right before Jesus died on the cross, he went to the garden and he prayed to his Father in heaven, God, right? So we're going to talk about, we're going to sing about when he went into the garden late mm -hmm. that night, okay? So you can put your hands together and sing this song and pray. Ready? Here's the words to the song. Go. Some of you remember this, this song. song. About Jesus praying in a garden. You know, you can pray too. You can be just like Jesus. Ready? In, in the, the garden, garden late, late that night, night Jesus prayed with all, all his might. Father, help me do what's right. I'll say yes to you. Jesus said yes. Jesus said yes. Yes, in sign language. Jesus said yes. Jesus said yes to the Father. We can say yes. We can say yes, right? We can say yes. We can say yes to him too. Talk to God both night and day, just like Jesus I will say, I'll say yes to you, Lord, I'll say yes to you. What does Jesus want you to do? Listen to your parents? Yes. Mm -hmm. I can say yes. Help others? I can say yes. To the Father, give a dollar to the homeless. I can say yes. Make a card for the sick. I can say yes. yes. I can say yes to him too. What does he want you to do? Yeah. Let's say amen together. Ready? Amen. Mm, wasn't that such a good reminder of yep. what Jesus wants us to do? He makes the perfect example. If you ever want to know how to act or live, we open the Bible, right? And remember God's stories of what he wants us to do. Dying on the cross, you think that was easy for Jesus to say yes to? No, that was so hard for him. 
to die on the cross for our sins, but he said yes. So if he can say yes, we, we can, can say yes. yes to him too, right? What a good reminder. So that's all for today, guys. We remembered um, about the cup, right? And Pray remembering him. Jesus died on the cross for us and Pray praying to him, him every day and, and night. <laughs> we still have that empty egg. We don't know why it's empty, do we? And we have the donkey. Yep, because last week we remembered the pass the Palm Sunday, yep. right? He's lucky that he survived. Yep. Jesus is? Yes. Mm, don't tell the end of the story, okay? That's a surprise. So, are you guys going to come back? Yes. Okay, thank you for coming to Kristen's. Creative Kids. Sophia, what would you like to say? Subscribe to our channel. Bye. Bye. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh. Like this video. Do a like. Bye. <laughs> Hit the like button. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs>